Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Sean, and I've got another collaboration with our friends over at Top Test, T-O-P-T-E-S. It's on their refrigerant leak detector, model RT389. Comes in two different colors. I actually got the Tennessee Vols, go Vols, <laughs> orange color that we're going to be demonstrating. Not that it matters, but I thought that was pretty cool. Orange or blue, I got the orange one. So I can't wait. Make some great products. Looking forward to testing this one out. So without waiting any further, Top Test Refrigerant Leak Detector Model RT389. Today, we review you. Again, I'd like to welcome you to our channel. If this is your first time tuning in, we love to do product videos and test collaborations with businesses like friends over at Top Test. All sorts of videos like this one. And this brings us to our segment, What's in the Box? What's in the Box? I'll tell you what's in the box. It's going to be another great product from our friends over at Top Test. T-O-P-T-E-S. And this RT389 refrigerant leak detector. So let's take a look and see the contents inside. Well, of course, we're going to have our owner's manual for the RT389. As we just skim through there, it looks like it's going to be in several different languages. We'll come back to that here shortly. And then it does have the USB uh, A to C charging cable, which is pretty cool. No charging block like a lot of these places don't have, but our cable. And then, of course, you have the detector. Hey, this is a great time to remind you, if you've not done so, make sure you hit that like button. If you're enjoying these videos or this particular one, consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the notifications so you know about all these cool new products. So if you'll notice, if you touch the button, it'll go off. You do need to press and hold it as it says on the screen. If you hold that for just a few seconds until you start seeing all of it power off, uh, up, up on, I should say, same with powering it off, you'll get it to come up to this screen right here. At that point, you can let go of it. If it flashes, it's telling you it's doing its LCD test, light test, buzzer test, vibrator test, which is pretty powerful, so you can feel it as well as, as uh, hear it and see it. And then, of course, checks to make sure that there is proper storage. And then you'll notice the light flash, the green light. If you'll read the manual, it'll tell you about what all the different lights do, what all the different function but buttons do, including the cool little flashlight, which is right on the top. Look at that. In case you need to see maybe towards a darker environment or maybe in the evening, you need to take a look at what you're sniffing out. Two different types. You've got the funnel type graph or you've got the uh, digital graph. You can go on and change the different settings, such as your time and date. That way you can keep track of all of uh, when you actually had this thing scanned and when it was ran. Keep it all official-like. Um, and then it does have display settings and quite a, a few different things that you can change. Uh, it does also have an advanced menu, which you can look at in there. But I think you'll find that the simple startup menu is about all you will need. Because all you're going to do is take this out, like I'm going to show you guys here in just a moment. And you're going to run it around some areas to see if you can sniff for any kind of Freon leak. So there's a lot of examples of why, but maybe your AC is blowing a little bit warmer uh, maybe you've put Freon in it and it's warm again. There's ways that you can sniff it out. In fact, there's several different types. They use leak detection with dyes. They've got one that even uses sound. And this one's more of a sniffer. So we're going to go out to the vehicle. And I know I don't have any problems, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Let's power it off and let's go outside. Ready? Follow me on out. Okay, now out here at the trucks, I just want to show you guys. I have the uh, RT389. Uh, detector the refrigerant leak detector from top test our friends I've got the manual out here and I'll tell you it's in, in uh, English uh, Dutch France Italian and Spanish and so the very first 1 through 18 pages are going to be your English and so you might want to go ahead and make yourself uh, familiar with the device kind of go over the product overview like we're gonna go here in just a second kind of understand like what some of the beeps and flashes will be Highly recommend you go ahead unless you already know. Um, feel free to skip ahead, but for those that don't, you're wanting to look to uh, first couple times, maybe you've learned how to do this. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys here as we go through this. So you do want to make sure that you do press that power button and wait. As you see, it'll hold for about uh, about six to ten seconds. Let that power up, and you see I'm still holding the button down, and then it powers up. Yeah, once it's done its power up. It's going to go through its little diagnostic and self-test as you're hearing. Vibrating and beeping. Checking for storage. 
and then now it's set up uh, ready to go and there's several different ways that this can detect um, by the in the uh, graph view um, as they call it the curved funnel chart that you see right there or you can actually use the line chart if you'd like and you just simply uh, see the two buttons you're just going to basically press that button to get the line chart or if you want to go back to the funnel you can right all right so let's go through this real quickly together so you can understand you have your sensor head and of course you have the goose neck there is a flashlight on the very front which I'll show you again you have your indicator lights and then TFT screen flashlight button left button right button function button power button and then as I showed you guys earlier pull it back out you have your USB charging port and of course it's got a built-in buzzer so flashlight as you saw on the top right there all right so if we're wanting to go do a little test um, you could go around several different points um, forgive me again if this is oh I was gonna say boring to you or if you already know what you're doing then you feel free to skip if you've never done it uh, if you want to know about the product feel free to stay on I appreciate it if you would so you can watch what we're gonna do here and uh, We'll kind of go through a little bit of an example of what to do so as I would I'm gonna set this down and I'll show you guys just one second so make sure you don't breathe on the uh, sensor head because it can throw off the calibration when you're going to do your test but now that I've got the gooseneck extended out I can actually go through and I can test some of the parts you can see again no no meter is jumping up there in any way it's just on normal no buzzers or whatnot but you can go through all the different parts of your air conditioning as you can see me doing so here um, and and simply uh, you're going to be sniffing for any kind of freon leaks so you'd want to follow all those um, i'm not using any dyes but as you may know of course they can get really sophisticated with the use of dyes and things like that this is going to be a sniffer so if i'm using it here i'm able to detect on my vehicle if i want to use it on the home um, then we can actually use it on several different things i'm actually just showing you out here on the the actual vehicle itself so um, now around here we can go through the whole entire compressor we can go through all of it if we don't find anything then we can move into the truck and once inside the vehicle don't forget now i'm not going underneath right now i'm just going to show you guys the uh, i believe it's the evaporator core if memory serves me correctly condenser core whatever the core is on the inside uh, up underneath the uh, up underneath usually almost all the glove boxes that I've ever seen somewhere up underneath here um, you can get a sniff if you like your machine goes off you'll know you're leaking fluids or, or uh, refrigerant you can go through your uh, ducts to see if you're leaking refrigerant and see if you get any kind of a uh, read on here now I don't have the vehicle started up again I'm not actually doing a live demonstration um, I'm just showing you guys as if I were thank God I don't have any issues with my vehicles but that'd be one of the first things that I'd want if I had a mechanic friend or if I knew somebody uh, that had a um, you know, knowledge of is hey could you test my truck and see if my AC is leaking in any way it's not as cold as it used to be or whatnot and to me this would be a very valuable friend for one of those to have is yeah let's go out and do a little quick sniff test on it and see and then that would have to warrant into label number two if they did detect yep you're leaking free on somewhere then kind of sniff out where it might come from now i've seen all sorts of types detect uh, the sniffers one uses sound and then i've also seen the one that uses actually the dyes so this would be a great way to get started just to see if there was any potential leaks in your uh, ac system so that's our friends over at top test this is the rt 389 i'm sean and this has been another product review from we review you Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Links in the description. Tired of searching for library music? Find the perfect track in seconds. AI search. Intuitive tags. Search exclusions. Fresh. Curated, original, by award-winning artists, trusted by major brands and creators. No copyright strikes. Just great music. Melody. Hey, thanks for watching this video and all of our videos right here on We Review You. Next video is coming up, or maybe this suggested video. Either way, we'll see you again soon right here on We Review You.
Take care, everybody. and See you soon.